it was a winning week for Hartford basketball, this is the Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Hello everyone and welcome once again to the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. I'm Keith Arsenault. Last week, the women's basketball team hosted Binghamton after a six-day layoff. The women's basketball team put their four-game win streak on the line as they played the Bearcats. Let's take a look at the highlights from that game. The Hawks got off to a quick start as Daphne Elliott finds Amber Bepko for the two. Hawks led 2-0. But Mallory Laws with the three puts the Bearcats up 8-6 in the early going. The Bearcats took a six-point lead as Andrea Holmes finds Julia Barak for the lay-in. But the Hawks able to retake the lead, leading 26-23 at this point. Andrea Holmes trying to tie it up before the half. But her three-pointer leaves just enough time for Daphne Elliott to do this. At the buzzer, bank shot. Off the glass and the Hawks led six at the break. In the second half, Nakia Smith got herself going with that jumper in the lane. And here, Amber Bepko on the curl finds Nakia Smith for the fadeaway. Smith ended the game with 24 points, a game high. And the Hawks iced it away here with Daphne Elliott raining threes. On three straight possessions, she scored nine points to put the game out of reach. This one, Kiyoka Mars Garrick with the O rebound. And Daphne Elliott puts the Hawks up 12. Hawks go on to roll and win their only game of the week, 67-58 over visiting Binghamton. The women have two games this week at Maine on Wednesday and then at home on Sunday afternoon against UMBC in a play for K game. On to some men's action. Also off to a fast start, off the tip, Andres Torres going all the way, he gets the bucket and the foul to put the Hawks up two. Later on in the first half, Hawks up five, Mark Wakama cutting, he gets the jam, Hawks were up 20 to 13 at that point, and Yolanzo Moore gave the Hawks a seven point lead before the break with that three. On to the second half now, Mark Wakama finds a cutting Andres Torres, Hawks led by double digits there. Clayton Brothers top of the key, he finds Yolanzo Moore in the corner with the shot clock running down to put the Hawks up a dozen. And then defense, Mark Wakama coming all the way across to swat that one out of bounds. But Binghamton did not go away. Robert Mansell with the steal here gets out in front and puts it in. As the Bearcats crept closer, but Yolanzo Moore putting it away, glides into the lane with the finger roll, putting the Hawks up 60 to 51 at that point. They went on to win this one 62 to 60, held on for the win. That was their second win of the week. They also beat UMBC on the road 76 to 7. Two games for the Hawks this week at home against Maine on ESPN 3 on Wednesday and then on the road at St. Peter's in an ESPN Bracket Busters game. And lacrosse gets underway on Saturday. They hit the road to play number 8 Maryland, a national finalist from a year ago. Indoor track was at the Valentine Invitational last week, highlighted by Andrew Chalmers breaking his own school record in the one-mile run. Both track teams head to the America East Championship meet hosted by Boston University this upcoming weekend. And tennis is underway. Both teams dropped home matches against UMBC on Saturday, and the men's team headed to Boston College on Sunday. Last Saturday was a busy day here for Hartford Athletics. Not only did women's basketball beat Binghamton, but the other Hawk women's teams celebrated National Girls and Women's in Sports Day with a youth clinic. The lacrosse team hosted Hobart for a scrimmage, and the men's and women's soccer teams held their annual Soccer Excellence Banquet to celebrate the 2011 season. Let's take a quick look back at all of Saturday's action. And I don't want any of you over here to my left or to my right to forget that you are part of the court.
this is the for the Excellence in Citizenship Award from Law School called the Peter A. Lamarck Excellence in Citizenship Award. Well, that'll do it for this edition of the Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Be sure to stay tuned all week to HartfordHawks.com for all the latest in Hartford athletics. For HartfordHawks.com, I'm Keith Arsenault. Have a great week.